achieved. Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Sai Lowell, and today we'll be talking about the Mesmer. The Mesmer was announced today by ArenaNet and is the last profession to be released. They are a light armor profession joining the Necromancer and Elementalist, but are completely different on the field of combat. The Mesmer looks like it is going to be one of the most difficult professions, but when mastered are going to be a pain in the ass. Coming from the words of ArenaNet, just when you think you've figured out what the Mesmer is doing, illusions begin to shatter, clones start to fade away, and you realize that you've been swinging at empty air all along. It's hard to keep your eyes on the real Mesmer. The Mesmer brings a unique condition called Confusion. An enemy that has the Confusion condition on them takes damage each time they activate a skill. Confusion stacks, so the more confusion an enemy has, the more damage it takes. Mesmers have skills to shatter their illusions. Shattering skills will destroy an illusion and create a secondary effect similar to the Necromancer's minions. There are four shattering skills. The first is Mind Rack, which destroys your illusions and does damage to opponents near them. Next is Cry of Frustration, which destroys your illusions and gives the Confused Condition to nearby foes. Diversion destroys your illusions and stuns nearby enemies. And Reflection destroys your illusion and places a barrier around the Mesmer, which reflects enemy projectiles. The Mesmer has access to a good amount of weapons. In their main hand, they can use a sword and a scepter. They have four offhands, including the focus, pistol, sword, and the torch. And their two-handed weapons are the staff and the great sword. The first skill type we'll cover are the illusions. Most illusions are directed at a specific target, but anyone can see and attack them. They will exist as long as the target is alive and can only be dispelled by attacking the illusion. A mesmer can have up to three illusions at a time and the oldest illusion gets replaced by the newly created one. There are two different types of illusions called clones and phantasms. Clones are illusions that look just like the caster, have the caster's name, and have basic behaviors. They have low health and tend to do little damage. For example, a mesmer equipped with a sword has two clone summoning skills. Leap, which launches him forward, leaving the clone at his location, and Illusionary Leap, which summons a clone at his location and then jumps forward. This is very interesting, especially if you are facing the same opponent often. A Mesmer will have to change up their strategy, or else the enemy will catch on. Within the Leap example are so many ways to execute it. The real Mesmer can leap in, leaving the clone behind, or the clone can leap in, then the Mesmer can shatter it to stun the enemy, then the real Mesmer leaps in. It will be crucial for the Mesmer not to be predictable. The second type of illusions are Phantasms. Phantasms are illusions that look like the caster but have their own names and carry special illusionary weapons which look different and have specific behaviors. They are more powerful than the clones both in health and damage. For example, a Staff Mesmer can summon an illusionary mage that attacks its target and deals extra damage for each inflicted condition. The last skill type for the Mesmer are Mantras. They have two phases. First, the Mesmer activates the Mantra, which has a long cast time. Doing so replaces the skill slot with an instant casting skill that the Mesmer can then use. Mantras are powerful because many can be charged up before battle and then used in the middle of another spell, without interrupting that spell. For example, Mantra Pain can charge up into an instant damage power spike that can be used during a channeled spell, such as the Great Sword skill. The Mesmer clearly looks like a profession that will keep its distance, and when they get too close, have illusions to save them. A Mesmer will need to learn how many hits a clone and a phantasm can take, so they can get the shatter skill off before it dies. A Mesmer that charges up a mantra skill, and uses it during another spell, will do devastating damage to that opponent, and they won't see it coming. I love the surprise factor that the Mesmer has within it, they are a great addition to the game. That's all for this week guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button below and to subscribe to our channel. I'll see y'all next week.